This is the Alexander Bridge at Rockhampton and we've done the service and we found that these bearings are seized. Um, you can see there's been no, we've marked them a few months ago and there's been no movement um, and the bearings on this western side are at their full extent. So we've, uh, we've set up some absorption material and we've pumped them with Degrees it just to get rid of the old grease and oil so our gel can um, penetrate and break up the rust once we uh, build the steel bath around it and seal it. So if we look on the other side, those bearings are almost an upright position. So across the deck of the bridge, they're inconsistent. And there's been minimal movement in those rollers too where we've marked them. So these smaller nested bearings at each abutment, we're also going to treat them um, and build the baths, treat them with our rust removers, lubricants and free them up also if, if they are uh, not working as they should. Because these bearings are so tight to the wall, um, it's impossible to clean by conventional methods. So these seized bearings need to have a bath because there's no other way of ensuring that the internals are clean. All the old oil is now seeped out of the bearing. It's been collected on the absorption material. Once the degreaser has done its job, just the initial pressure wash between the rollers. And then once we finish this, we're ready to, to seat the bath for submersion in gel.
silver is getting fabricated and sealed around the, the frozen berry. So the bars have been set. As you can see down there. And this will be the first product that we submerge the bearings in, which is our action gel. Thick consistency. Um, it's a phosphoric based product. And that'll get in between the rollers, break up all the rust, and free the bearing up. So now the gel is being decanted. If you look in the clear extraction hose, you can see all the rust flakes traveling along. And all, all those rust flakes and debris have come from the internal of the bearing. And this is an area where you couldn't really clean it to this degree. You couldn't de-rust it without submerging it in a bath using a gel like our product. A lot of rust in, internally. Which is what I expected from a bearing which is which has been seized for some time.